Good morning. We're here today to talk to you about what is cardiac rehab. My name is Heidi Gobel, an exercise physiologist at Pascack Valley Medical Center. My name is Lillian Tahan, registered nurse. What we'd like to do is talk to you about understanding cardiac rehab and what is involved with it and what are the options for you if you're interested in joining the program. It is a medically supervised and customizable program consisting of exercise, emotional support, and education on risk factors such as physical activity, nutrition, and stress management. It's really designed to help people with cardiovascular disease improve their health. It is an option for people with various forms of heart disease, including angioplasty and stent, open heart surgery such as bypass or valve surgery, heart transplant, heart attack, stable angina, and heart failure. Despite the many benefits of cardiac rehab, it is underutilized. About less than 20% of patients who are eligible actually participate. Cardiac rehab is very much a team approach. All play a part in a successful program. The doctors, nurses, exercise physiologists, even family and friends to offer that support. Another benefit of cardiac rehab is that you live longer. Research has shown that um, cardiac rehab does reduce your risk of future heart problems and death from heart disease. Cardiac rehab will help c allow you to control your symptoms if you're having chest pain or shortness of breath. It also helps to stop or reverse damage to the blood vessels in your heart by participating. Cardiac rehab does help also lessen the physical and emotional effects of heart disease, improve your stamina and strength, getting you back to your usual activities, your usual day-to-day, -day, including your work, hobbies, and regular exercise. Cardiac rehab also helps to improve your confidence and well-being. If you have any of the previously mentioned diagnoses, talk to your health care provider about joining a cardiac rehab program. Most insurances, including Medicare, often cover the costs of the program. Check with your insurance carrier to see if it is covered. You will need a referral from your doctor in order to become enrolled in cardiac rehab, along with necessary paperwork regarding your diagnoses. Once you have received the appropriate documents, we will set you up for your initial evaluation. Some cardiac rehab does begin in the hospital or as an outpatient, and for some home-based programs may work if available. Upon initial evaluation, we would meet with you and review your medical and surgical history, your risk factors and medications, including med medication compliance. We would discuss your current lifestyle, including your work environment, your home, and your family. We would review goals, both staff and patient initiated. We would then give you an orientation to the facility. There is an exercise component for the initial session and would, that would include a baseline six minute walk test or new step test, which is a bicycle, and a tug test, which is a falls risk assessment. We would then ask that you complete our pre-program outcome surveys and we would then set an exercise schedule and make an appointment for your first exercise session. The program can last anywhere from four to six weeks or eight to 12 weeks, depending on risk stratification. This is determined by your diagnosis and other factors. Some patients may be limited by insurance coverage or work schedule. Classes are scheduled for an hour. We recommend that you do attend three times a week, but again, if your schedule or your insurance coverage limits you, some patients do attend twice a week. Once patients complete the telemetry program, they can continue on in a maintenance program, which is self-pay, or given an exercise prescription for use at home or another facility. When you come to exercise, patients will wear a telemetry monitor, which records their heart rate and rhythm. We do check blood pressure, which is measured at rest, during exercise and after exercise before you go home. We would have patients exercise on various modalities. We, we ask them what they're interested in, what they enjoy to exercise with, and these could be anything from a treadmill, a bicycle such as an upright or recumbent, a new step. We also have an airdyne or an arm ergometer. We have ellipticals and we are fortunate to have an, a, a track in the facility. Patients will be introduced to stretching techniques and resistance training, weight stir bands as appropriate. Nutritional guidance is provided along with various resources. We also discuss stress management techniques and we give guidance on techniques that can be used at home. Exercise programs 
also for home use are encouraged. Just coming three times a week is good, but we do encourage you to exercise on your own as well. We provide educational throughout education throughout the program using handouts and videos. We will notify your doctor of your progress as needed and on a monthly basis. We progress you as per the program protocol and also as you can tolerate. Exercise with other participants also occurs so that you have a chance to talk with other people that have been through what you've been through. At discharge, we like to reassess the six minute walk test or the six minute new step test. We, we want to see if uh, there's any change in your functional capacity, any, any improvement. If you've scored high on your tug test at initial evaluation, we would also like to reassess that as well. We review your post outcome surveys, see if there's any improvements in those. We also look at the staff and patient center goals that were set at initial evaluation. We then discuss your home exercise prescription, whether you continue to exercise at home or at a facility, and we supply you with a discharge packet with a wealth of other information. We then complete the discharge process by sending your physician a progress report of how you, you did throughout the program. After you've completed the phase two monitor program of cardiac rehab, we do encourage you to exercise on a regular basis. You want to follow the heart healthy diet, manage your weight, continue with stress management and smoke cessation as appropriate. Continue with your medications as directed by your physician and learn to cope with heart disease. So as I've mentioned before, cardiac rehab does offer many benefits and quality of life is, is a big one. We have seen many patients improve on their quality of life and depression scores while participating in cardiac rehab. Some patients may even feel better than before their cardiac event. Research has shown that cardiac rehab does benefit, as I've mentioned before, and cardiac rehab participants were 53% less likely to die from any cause and 57% less likely to experience cardiac-related mortality than those who did not participate in cardiac rehab. It has also been shown to reduce hospital readmissions for those during the year after post-myocardial infarction. A MET stands for the metabolic equivalent of a task. One MET is the amount of energy used while sitting quietly. The higher the MET level, the more work you are doing. And that's our goal in cardiac rehab. We would like to increase the MET level as much as possible. Because for each one MET increase in functional capacity, all cause mortality is reduced by 25% at one year. Some questions that we get are, my doctor's always so busy. How can I get a re referral with so little time to communicate? Be patient, persistent, and organized. Write down any questions you might have in advance of your appointment with the doctor. If you have trouble getting a referral, call us and we can reach out to your doctor. At my age, I don't see how cardiac rehab could help. Isn't it really too late for me? Cardiac rehab isn't just about a healthier future and a possibility of living longer. It is also about a better quality of life right now. Whether you are 38 or 88, you're never too old to exercise. I just don't feel good. How am I supposed to benefit from cardiac rehab if I'm not feeling well? Feeling lousy can make us want to crawl back into bed and stay there. Sometimes that's what our body needs as it works to heal. But that dynamic can also become a trap that leads to other health problems. So talk to your medical team. Tell them how you're feeling, any pain, discomfort, symptoms. They will determine if you can safely participate in cardiac rehab. Once in the program, we will monitor you closely. I don't have anyone to help me through this. Where can I find social support? One of the great things I love about cardiac rehab is offers such a great um, social environment for those who are going through cardiac events. And you'll be in class with other participants who may have gone through the same thing as you have. So you'll feel comfortable, and that's our goal, you know, right away at your first session. There are, all, there are also support groups locally as well as websites that provide information on heart disease and recovery, and we would help direct you to those. I have too many responsibilities at work and home to bother with cardiac rehab. How can I get involved? It's really important that you put your health first when you have other responsibilities. Remember, a 
without a healthy heart, you can't do anything else. So commu communicate with your family and your employer so that everyone understands. If you want to get back to your regular responsibilities, please make cardiac rehab your priority. Success of a cardiac rehab program is greatly dependent on your dedication and motivation to the program. It may be difficult first to start the program, but you will be satisfied with the benefits in the long run. Cardiac rehab will help you to overcome any anxiety and or fear as you return to your normal activities and lifestyle with more energy and motivation. The Cardiac Rehab Center here at Pascack Valley Medical Center is a state-of-the-art facility located in Westwood, New Jersey. To schedule an appointment or to learn more about our program, please call 201-781-1450. Thank you for taking the time to be a part of this webcast. Thank you very much.